Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology only. So I often get messages from our Wing Chun friends or traditional Chinese martial arts friends asking me if Wing Chun is a cover-up name of Fujian White Crane. And some ask me if Wing Chun is an outgrowth of Fujian White Crane. So today I like to share with you Wing Chun is not a cover up name of Fujian White Crane. And Wing Chun also, by definitions, technically, it is not an outgrowth of Fujian White Crane. So what happened is in past 80 years or so, many stories has been created that uh, Wing Chun is this, Wing Chun is that, Wing Chun is uh, uh, Fujian White Crane, so forth, so forth. And some even go as far as uh, Wing Chun's uh, founder or creator is Ng Mui. And then, uh, then they found some kind of Ng Mui uh, martial art and so they get all kind of relationships. Well, all of this type of stuff are not based on evidence, but based on somebody's speculations. You, you cannot track it in history and you cannot track it technically. So for example, in uh, China, in China, that is uh, like a museum, the White Crane uh, of Fujian Museum, Fujian White Crane Museum, this one. So within it, it says that you know, that there is a that is a, that there is a post within this museum. Okay, this is what inside that. So it is saying that the disciple of Fujian White Crane, Ling Jun, or Ling Wanqing, right, this is the name in uh, Mandarin, at the uh, Taiping Uprising era, he joined the Taiping Uprising. And after the Taiping Uprising, due to he is running away from the Qing government because the Taiping have lost in uh, 1860s. So many of the White Crane Fujian student escaped to Canton. And all the students, uh, they change their name and they teach Fujian White Crane, but using Wing Chun, no, Wing Chun Queen, as the cover up name of Fujian White Crane. So this is in the China's uh, White Crane Fujian Museum. Well, is that true? Historically, it is not the case. Why? Because Wing Chun exists before the Taiping Uprising. So uh, this saying uh, from this uh, Fujian White Crane Museum saying that because the uh, uh, the disciple of the White Crane Fujian joining the, 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 the Taiping Uprising, when Taiping Uprising lost, they escaped to Canton and then they start to teach the White Crane Fujian with the cover up name Wing Chun Queen. It really doesn't make sense because Wing Chun exists prior to the uh, 
to the loss of the uh, typing revolution. As you know, in this channel, I share with you guys that uh, uh, Wing Chun is hand with hand with uh, our uh, friend, the Hong Sing Chai Le for ancestor, supporting the typing revolutions or uprising uh, in the 1850s. Okay, and even before that, they, they are grouped together in the fine jade associations of uh, Tatsan. So, so, however, this thing is in the museum, in the, 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 the uh, White Crane Museum of Fujian. Then people will go there and, and believe on it. However, the people who do that in Fujian have not looked into history in details. So it is just a plain made up. Okay? So we today cannot afford those kind of things. Now, another thing is, if Wing Chun is a current up name of the Fujian White Crane, why is why does Wing Chun does not have San Zhan or San Jin? We know that San Jin or San Zhan is the soul, the core of Fujian White Crane. So if this White Crane uh, students in the uh, Taiping Revolution time is teaching White Crane or Fujian, with the Wing Chun as a cover up name, why doesn't any Wing Chun practice San Zhan? So, technical side, you know that this is not the case. Wing Chun don't practice San Zhan, Wing Chun practice Xiu Lim Ta. Okay? So, as in other uh, video I share with you guys uh, weeks ago, that explaining the body of the uh, white crane or the, uh, the, 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 the Fujian martial art on how they handling their shoulder shoulder blade versus how Wing Chun handle the shoulder shoulder blade. We know technically for very sure today that Wing Chun is Wing Chun and Wing Chun is an outgrowth of Shaolin Short Strike using the Ermei Shi Zhuang body mechanics that's what Wing Chun is and of course it import it import some techniques from Fujian White Crane. But that is very different than Wing Chun is a cover up name of Fujian White Crane, which is a Fujian White Crane. It just uh, name it differently. Or Wing Chun is an outgrowth because you need to solve this San Zhan issue. Why is Wing Chun doesn't practice San Zhan? And why is that uh, Wing Chun have already exist prior to this history, which is uh, uh, in this uh, White Crane Fujian Museum? So that is how far we know today. And this has to stop. We need to have a clear view. Wing Chun is the outgrow of Shaolin Short Strike. Legit, we can check, trace down the document of Shaolin Short Strike. And we know the body mechanics is Ermei Si Zhuang. Also, we can track technically how close is it how it is and of course 
we also know that Wing Chun have took some part of White Crane Fu Jian's techniques in. That is what the, uh, the, 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 the true, the truth of the technology of Wing Chun. So here on, I hope that uh, we all know this. Now, it is not about political that uh, I am uh, saying this. And it is not about my lineage that I am saying this. It is, we will completely screw up Wing Chun if we don't make technical details clear. It's like if I say that uh, iPhone is from Android phone and everybody say iPhone is from Android phone, iPhone is from Android phone and you're gonna mess up iPhone 100 years later because people say oh this is iPhone but they don't really know what it is and so there's no way they be able to reproduce what iPhone is because they don't know okay so in really details these two books like the Wing Chun Inception I have the Queen Quit there 1850s and over here we have the Shaolin Sword Strike and how this thing uh, the, the, the Sword Strike momentum and so forth uh, describe the common denominator we be able to see 2020 what it is and only that way we can deal with this technical issue otherwise it's hearsay you say me say okay and uh, with the last week of the uh, the, the, the Tai Chi uh, Grandmaster get KO within 30 seconds and then the uh, central Chinese television saying that it's time to clean house because uh, many distorted traditional Chinese martial art. We have to be really careful. Okay, that's why in Chan in this channel, and in all these books, you see, I never, I never say I think so, I believe so, I present to you this is the evidence this is the historic evidence this is evidence and this is what it is instead of I think so I believe so because Wing Chun cannot afford cannot afford to be distorted in today's situations of traditional Chinese martial arts and this I have uh, shared with many of our friends or my senior in Asia also. If you look at it in a technical trend way, like in Silicon Valley, you can see technical and so forth. Traditional Chinese martial arts do not have 10 years to waste. The next 10 years will be extremely critical. You know many traditional Chinese martial arts will be wiped out. So if we don't dig out the evidence, historic evidence, know exactly what it is, knowing technical what it is, mapping it in the spot signs, so that we all, everybody, everybody know what it is, everybody can develop it and grow and proceed and move on, then Wing Chun is gone. It will become just a story do we want that and the same thing i ask uh, many of uh, my senior in different style in asia because i study many different art too do we want that do we want that uh, the art uh, vanish in the next 10 years due to we don't know what it is and we don't know how to compete because we practically don't know what it is. So as in this, this book, the H model and the uh, impulse momentum here, 
if we don't know what it is and we're facing MMA player or Western boxing player or uh, BJJ player what are we going to do? like only uh, two days ago I shared with you that the two uh, body mechanics uh, sorry the, the, the body mechanics to handle the two basic inputs momentum in fighting if we don't have that how can you face anybody? You look at like the uh, BJJ friends. Didn't they do that? You look at the Western boxing friend. Didn't they do that? Direct momentum and the spin or torque momentum. And their body mechanics is, uh, is uh, preparing for that. Look at all the BJJ sparring, the, uh, the, the Western boxing sparring. Now, if we keep in doing Xiulin Tao, standing there with the structure, with only moving one arm, have not conditioned our body to handle this, this, uh, this uh, linear direct momentum and the torque momentum, one really cannot face our Wing Chun friend and BJJ friends. Because we, we can get into that close. We can handle, we don't even know that this two type of our momentum exists. This two type of basic momentum exists. That's how serious it is. So this is to share with you today. And uh, hopefully that uh, we here on know what it is. Let's not start to speculate or continue to speculate. Oh, Wing Chun creator is uh, 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 Ng Moi. Then uh, whatever Ng Moi art is the uh, sister art. What are you based on? Technically, what do you base on? You look into the momentum. Is that the same type? You look at the body mechanic. Is the same type? Same thing. Oh, Wing Chun is the cow up name of Wing Chun. As in, uh, in this, uh, I show you in this, uh, in the Chinese uh, uh, museum. You cannot do that. You screw up the Wing Chun technologically. And one other thing too, which people never address, and I want to address it today. We all say that you know, we are authentic Wing Chun. We are authentic lineage. Our grandmaster uh, is this, this, this. We are from this, we are from this grandmaster, like me, you know, from Yikam and so forth. And there are many people from Cho family saying that they are, it's a Yikam Wing Chun and so forth. Now I ask the questions for the entire world. Is it fair for all those ancestors of Wing Chun? When we screw it up, we speculate thing, which is we never know what the heck is going on. Is it fair for them? So whatever we, what we are doing, is it for the ancestor or for ourselves? Asking that, okay? So that's why I like the Western university way or engineering way. We write a paper, a technical paper. We base on evidence. We give credit to whoever we quote from. Okay? Until we do that, it is not professional at all. And don't expect anything which is not professional can fly high. We can read in history. That's what is the case. 